So you've clicked on this video because you and your PLC team have finally given an assessment in Mastery Connect and you are ready to look at the reports. Um, this is the best thing about Mastery Connect. Um, I am Beth Quick. I'm your instructional technology coach here for Elkhart Schools, and we're going to look at the process of finding that assessment, looking at the reports, and what to do with that. So let's get started. So you're going to go into um, your Canvas, and then you're going to navigate to Mastery Connect. And from here, you should see your tracker. Well, it should probably pop up like this. If you were in assessments before, it will go to your assessments. Um, but it will most likely pop up with your um, students and it's in the tracker view. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the assessments and your assessments probably look like this. And a lot of times this is, they have this because it's grouped by standards. It is best to um, change this to list view because it has it all organized just in a list. And because we're looking at the assessment um, reports, we wanna just see all of our assessments in one place. And so from here, if you go to your um, CFA assessment that you and your other teachers in your PLC have um, given to your students, you're gonna find that. And then we are going to go over into reports. So we're gonna go to reporting. And it will show you um, your first, it will just be the item analysis with um, your students particularly. You can go here to view options and find different views. You can see every student in all of your trackers, um, how they did on that assessment. And this view kind of shows you, it's each of the question and it will show you which students got this question right and then which student, there was only one for this, got it wrong. Um, this is awesome for if you're just using this in your classroom and you wanna look over the results with your students and use this for your remediation in your class. Um, this is for you to use as the teacher. However, if we go here and we change to teachers in my school, this will be the item analysis for every teacher. Um, so you can see instead of it being 10 kids, it is gonna be 50 kids. And so we can see here that only for all the teachers that give, gave this assessment, only one student missed that question. And so this is where we can start um, talking about with our PLC, um, some of those questions about how accurately our assessment is um, with our students. And those are two things that we, um, with assessments to focus on it's reliability and validity. And so if a assessment is reliable, then it refers to the consistency of an assessment. So if a, so, this is where multiple choice assessments are always more reliable than short answer because no matter what, if a kid cl clicks B and that's the answer, it will always be corrected as like, oh, if you clicked B, that's the correct answer. But if they do a short response, if you grade it versus if someone else grades it, the reliability gets less and less because um, sometimes that those results aren't consistent. But validity really is um, the big one here because if the results, if all of our questions, like if this was the CFA and we can see here, it's kind of like the bell curve is kind of high with this. It started with easy questions and got harder. Um, if all of our questions looked like question one and all of our students were getting um, like great assessment scores from this common assessment, that validity might not be as high because if it doesn't, now if your students are scoring really like off the charts in this assessment and they're scoring off the charts in iLearn and PSATs and SATs, then the assessment is probably um, valid, but that's usually not the case that we wanna make sure our um, item analysis shows us accurate data and it's it's valid. So if our kids are getting really, really good scores on our assessments, it might be too easy for our kids and we might need to look at re, um, working those assessment questions. And so as a team, you guys can go through, I'm gonna share this with you guys. This is an item, item analysis form. You can see the low, low performing questions um, and kind of look at those and see how many, like 
write out the standard, how many you got them correct, and then the item type. And um, this is gonna I'm going to show you how to get back to the assessment from here and start talking about why this is like, why this ana item analysis looks like this. Um, I would challenge you to not only do it with low performing, but with also high performing, because sometimes um, a question might be, if all of our questions look like question one, then we need to rework those and make them more rigorous. Um, and so this is the item analysis. Um, this is super helpful for you and your PLC team. If you don't have, not all of our teachers are within a school, this is when you need to make sure that you have the right team. So right here, it doesn't show the team, but if you create a team with every teacher that teaches that course, this will be another option that you can choose is under, instead of teachers in my school, you can hit team. You can also compare, this is just the item analysis. Um, oh, from here, if you wanna go back into the assessment, because if I wanna look at why question one, um, why nine got it right and one got it wrong. If we go back to the question, we can kind of go here and look at and navigate through the assessment questions. We can go back to reports and then look at the item analysis. So then if we go over to student mastery, this will be um, of all my students where they scored in just like one window. So. We'll go to my trackers again, and I can see real quickly that um, 6%, well, six of my students did not meet mastery or even near mastery, and only one of my kids were um, actually hit the mastery scores. And then I can then use that data and compare it to everybody in the building, and I can see, ooh, my students really underperformed in this assessment, and then I can talk to my PLC about like, wow, what, my students underperformed here and it is not um, paralleling with what everybody else got. And so that's when those conversations can happen in the PLC is um, comparing your own data with everybody's data and then all together looking at the data and start looking at how, um, if this is a good valid assessment results and if we need to kind of rework questions. And the teacher comparison is the last one. This will show you across everybody the scores um, and it will show you kind of like in a table format, in a chart format right here. And this is by no means meant to be any penalty. Um, this should be data that you use to your advantage. So um, there are gonna be, everybody has strengths and weaknesses but data is to help us make sure that we are having data informed, um, data informed, what is it? Data informed discussions in our PLC so that we can come together and kind of figure out if there's any changes that need to happen. And then also plan a remediation um, process and using data to remediate and reteach. And so, instead of just looking at this and being defeated, like if I am um, Mrs. Walker, I'm gonna look at this and be like, okay, I know that I have people around me that did really, that their students did really well in that assessment. And instead of being alone, I can look at them to see what did you do that I need to do? Um, because obviously, what was this assessment on? Let's look at the assessment. Obviously, ratios and proportions is not a strength of mine as a teacher. Um, so I can look to see at my other teachers how they're doing and have those um, really awesome conversations in the PLC. And so those are the three uh, PLC reports that are really helpful. You also can use this as a teacher just to kind of get a quick picture of where your students are at. And these assessment reports are for any assessment. So if you're Walker, you're Mrs. Walker, you're, you gave the CFA, the reports are not like, oh, I need to definitely definitely remediate and reteach. I can then go up here and I can then go into creating a new assessment and I can say reteach and I can do an item and I can make this private to me. I can create an item assessment with those standards that I need to reteach. So I can go here, add from item bank, filter the standard that I was using, which I think it was RPA1. 
And then over here, I can I can hit the mastery item bank. If you're a core subject, you can do this. And then I can just randomly choose four questions and then create that assessment right there. So if I need to reteach them, then I need a way to gather that data quickly so that I can see how they did after I retaught. And I can do that right into Mastery um, Connect as well. I'm gonna cancel this. And go back to the tracker. So again, we went over looking at the reports with common assessments. It's that button right there, the reporting button. And then looking at this data, making sure we're having those conversations in our PLC that there are assessments are reliable and valid, that it is giving us the information that we need and it's valid so that we can drive, have data drive our instruction. And um, you can also over here, you can pull a spreadsheet if you want to look at this in spreadsheet view. Really, I think this is a really nice view to look through that data. And if this is, this is probably something that you need to do, making sure our teams are organized so that um, we have a way to look at if like, if you're in middle school, it's not just the teachers in your school, but it's the teachers in the other two buildings as well. So making sure our teams are organized and I can go over that real quick as well. So we can go into mastery. And under here, under your name, we're gonna go into profiles and then my teams. And this is where we can create a team with everybody in your course. And that's how we can use to um, look at that data and make sure that we're looking over everybody's data together and having those conversations. So instead of like entering that in a spreadsheet, um, anytime you give a common assessment, the very next Monday, you should be pulling this data up, this report, looking at the item analysis. You can use this to kind of look through your questions. You can do it with just the low performing questions. But again, I challenge you to make sure that our assessments are um, valid and making sure that we're just, our kids are not, the questions aren't really easy because this is not for, um, this is not for us to assess you as a teacher. This is for you to use as a teacher to make sure that your kids are performing well and that you have data to drive your instruction. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to put it down in the chat. Um, and I hopefully you have success with using this reports and look forward to more videos about using because now that you're in the Mastery Connect world and you're having assessments and you're giving those assessments through here, we're gonna look at the advantages of doing that now um, since you've done all that work. Have a great day and see you soon.